Welcome to this presentation on working with databases in Talon Studio. In this video, we'll cover the steps to connect to a database in a Talon Studio job. We'll explore the necessary connection settings and how to configure them in the dedicated component. Then, we'll learn how to read and write data from the database. You can connect a variety of databases to your Talon Studio jobs. To do so, you must always follow these steps. First, define the type of database you want to connect to. For example, Redshift, Oracle, MySQL, or others. In this example, we'll use MySQL. Then, provide the connection information and credentials. Next, select the table on which you need to load or read data and set the column schema, data types, column length, primary keys, and so on. Finally, set the operations you need for your studio job. Database connection and schema properties are used to configure the components for writing data to and reading data from tables. The Studio provides several unified database components for a large set of databases. You can easily recognize them because they all start with TDB. For example, you can use TDB input to import data from a database to your Studio job and TDB output to write your data to a database. Database components are dynamic and their type can be changed at any time. Pick one of them in the palette and choose a database type. Depending on the type you select, the parameters are different. Then configure the database connection, host, port, database name, and user credentials. Connection metadata can also be created in the repository and imported when configuring the component. As with most of the Studio components, defining the schema is a key setting. When working with databases, this configuration step allows you to align the column types of your data flow with those of the database table. Database input and output components have two data type columns in their schema. The type column corresponds to the Java types of your data flow. The DB type column refers to the column types of the database table. DB types can be automatically updated using the Reset DB Types icon. If input and output types are not compatible, you can convert them using a TMAP component. A table must have a primary key column, with the corresponding key checkbox selected. In this example, it's the name of the customer. The nullable attribute can be selected to indicate that null values are accepted, which is useful for missing values. The last step of the process is to define the operations you want to perform on the database table. With a TDB input component, you can read data from the table. With a TDP output component, you can create, clear, or drop tables. You can also insert, update, or delete data in the table, and much more. The TDB input component reads data from a table using a SQL query. The query is automatically generated based on the schema definition, the guest query button, and customized using the SQL builder. The SQL Builder provides an interface for database structure visualization and a data selection preview. The TDB output component receives data from the data flow and loads it into the database. There are several actions you can choose from to create the table. The TDB output component is used to create a table by selecting an appropriate option for action on the table. To insert records in the table, set the appropriate action on data. The table is created using the schema definition and rows of records are inserted. Creating and dropping a table is very convenient in the development phase. However, do not use these options in a production environment. Production databases must be managed by your database administrator only. In this presentation, we covered all the steps necessary to connect a database in a Talent Studio job. We saw the components you can use and how to configure them to write or read data from a database. Thanks for watching this presentation.